Yeah, what's good YouTube? It's me, Smizz of XP, and we're back once again. This time we're in the firing range. I'm with my main man, Caustic. I got the Prowler, and I got the R99. And let's talk about ways to use the firing range and ways to get familiar with guns and warm up. So, I'd like to just take all these off right now. I wanna use all my guns bare bones. If I can control this wild gun with nothing on it kicking, I get real familiar with it. When I throw on a barrel or a stock, it's gonna feel like butter. So I like to come in here and test my recoil. I know for I know for a fact the R99 kicks straight up and the Prowler kicks straight up. The Prowler's burst, R99 can be it's full auto. So what I mean by that is whenever I hold this trigger, straight down, it kicks up. Okay, that's straight from the hip. Kicks all the way up. Let's aim down sights now. Again, back up some. Again, not controlling recoil, just holding the trigger. Kick straight up. So using my right stick, I have to push it down to keep everything auto shot center mass. So aim down sights, push down that right stick. It's more center mass. Again, keep it center mass. So all these shots and all this damage are going straight into whoever I'm fighting. Same with the Prowler, it kicks straight up. If I'm aiming or trying to go for a headshot and I know my recoil is gonna kick up, I don't wanna aim here at feet and loins, and his loins, you know what I'm saying? I wanna aim about mid chest. Yo, when I fire and it kicks up, it goes more toward the headshot. Kick straight up, easy shots. Versus me going for feet, I'm shooting ankles and, and toes and kneecaps and I'm like, I mean, I'm doing damage, but He's putting headshots out on your boy. I'm going to sleep faster than he is. So get familiar with their recoil. Know kind of where to position your weapons. And also, an important thing for me is the skin. So like this skin, I use this because it helps me see better. Me personally, with the Prowler. I like the iron sights on this one. And then for the R99, I went with this skin. So I don't really, I'm not reliant on a scope on this skin. Some guns for your boy, to get some more light here. Some guns for your boy, I need a scope. The R301 is kind of one of them guns for me. I changed my skin to help. But in the beginning, yeah, your boy couldn't see. Couldn't see anything. So, let's go back over here. And again, trying out different skins, different recoil patterns. Like Spitfire, I cannot see with just the iron sights on the Spitfire. So, I need something. But, I like to come in here and practice without iron sights. Because that way, if I were to pick one up when I first drop and I land, I'm not, oh, I can't see. I can't use this gun. I'm not, I don't want any excuses when it comes to the gameplay. So learning your recoil patterns, learning your skin should like hold your guns, and then just practice one of those thumbs, shoot from the hip, aiming down sights, knowing which guns are better for which situation. Like for me, if I have an R301 and a Spitfire, I'm gonna run up on you with the R301. It puts out rounds faster, it's a faster gun, and my secondary will be my Spitfire, because it spits slower, basically. Um, speed definitely matters because if you run up on somebody with, again, let's go back to the to the old faithful. Your boy goes back to his R99 right now and I'm trying to cook. And let's say he had a Spitfire. He's shooting at me and we're close range like this. I put out way more rounds per second than a Spitfire does. So in an up close battle, he's going to sleep. But if he has a Spitfire and I'm with the R99 and I'm back here, now this is plays a part. Like, I'm doing damage there cool with 22, 28s, but I'm right now, these 18 stack up so fast with the Spitfire. Just by me bursting and holding it down, um, the damage stacks up. Use these targets. So, most people want to just shoot at them and, like, they're dragging them in. That's cool, I guess. Do you. I use these as a way to snap between targets. And meaning, as targets move, and teammates and other teams come into play, you wanna be able to snap between targets to engage multiple enemies without having to do one of these and like try to trace and follow because you're going to sleep. So I like to get in, zoom, snap, zoom, snap. And what I mean by snap is I move with my right stick and my using my thumbs to get to different targets. It won't always be perfect, but it'll help to get used to that, especially when you move into sniping. So like for me, I don't use anything on my triple take normally, unless I get like a three times. But being able to snap on the target helps me hit shots faster and miss less, so that makes sense. So like this guy was running, I'm tearing you up. Then your homeboy pops up behind you. Yeah, you're going to sleep, you're going to sleep. Well, 
extended mag, but y'all get the idea. Uh, yeah, that's the fire range basically in a nutshell. Use this to get used to guns, try different strategies with your abilities, um, try different characters. You have seen my previous video breaking down the top three beginner characters, I'll link that as well. But yeah, get to here, try those abilities, learn good ways to use them, and then uh, jump in those matches and uh, do work. Yeah. Subject down. Reloading. Good one. Thanks. Nope. Champions.